What's up everybody and welcome back to Westland Survival. So, as you can quite clearly tell, I've been doing a bit of work on the base since the last, well, since the first video as planned. I've got my two crop lots out here now and they're both working on making me some lovely corn. And now if I head into here, extended this area all around a lot and I've lined chests around the edges. But most importantly, I'm now level 12. So I've been grinding up levels and I've unlocked the clothes, got points to learn three of them. I'll probably make boots, trousers and shirt. And then next level I'm going to be getting, oh no, it's two levels away. Ah, damn. Two levels away I'll be able to get the food dryer, the bow, wood and the medium box and like the leather dryer stuff. But here is everything mostly that I need for this video. So the first up plan is I just wanted to, I don't know, just wanted to kind of try and start getting a few of these bits placed down. Like, for example, my forge. Let's put this... Let's have it here. Beautiful. And let's put the bird cooler next to it. Now I've got my wood creating bench thing. I can't remember what it's called for the life of me. And let's chuck the campfire out here next to the little... The old cart. Right, so... That's the carpenter table. That's not the one I want. I want the... Dovercote building site, so I need to complete all of this. But first, what I want to do is actually build the stable. There we go. So the stable works the same as the chopper. Once you finish your stable, you capture the horse that's wandering around your base. And yeah, you just you then have the horse. <laughs> kind of self-explanatory there. Wasn't really much to add to it. But here we go. Oh, that's going to get annoying that I can't get through there. Let's take a look at what we need. Right, first up, let's put the saddle in there. We still need the stirrups, the bridle, bridle, yeah, and the horseshoes. But I think we should have the rest of these. So what I'm looking for, rings, scrap, and leather belts. I believe I'll actually have all of this already stored up. Now it is gonna take me a little while to find stuff because I have literally only just, sort of like 20 seconds ago, sorted all this out and moved the chest around. Rigs, straps. Uh, I don't need them, but I need scrap. If there is any. Oh yeah, I've got quite a few weapons now. I've got three guns. Well, I've got a Springfield 58, I've got a Henry 44, and a Remington. Right, where is my... Ah, ah, perfect, there we go. Got the rest of the rings. And I've only got 16 scrap, but I think I need 20. However, I believe there is some more in my... Oh, in the stagecoach thing. Let's get that going. Let's get that going. There we go. A decent way towards completing it. Just the few hardest bits to find left. And yay, there we go. And you know what? Let's take that mini shoulder pack as well. Ta-da! Ta-da! Alright, so this is getting pretty close. I believe we can find these bits at it's either AI bases the train crash or or, or, or or what was the other one red zones I believe right so what I want to do is unlock these and I'm actually gonna probably craft myself a set of armor right so I think yeah, this is actually gonna be my first time ever making armor in this game right so what do I need Right, I'm going to want this stuff, and then I want, let's take the hide, that's an empty box, and I need cloth. Game? There we go. Right, let's make us up some boots, some trousers, and, right, I need rope. Have I actually got rope? Yeah, I got rope. Perfect. Let's get that. And we'll get that. Perfect. Hang on. Okay, defense is up actually higher because we've got armor that I found in a zone at the moment. So I'm going to just keep this on me for now. And when it breaks, I'll switch it all over. But it's nice to have spare armor on me. Right, so I've got... There you go, let's equip that. I've got 12 bandages. I think I've got... Oh, so this is pretty cool. I got a medium box. So I could actually place that down. Oh, and I did farm some oak logs. 
because I found an iron axe when I was in a red zone and a couple of trees were about. So I chopped them all up. You know what, I could take these, I could stick them in my well to fill them up. And that noise when you open stuff is a little bit on the annoying side. Right. I can start smelting this, which will be useful. And there we go. Perfect. Right, I'm going to chuck this in and get that all smelting up. That to there, that to there. Excellent. Now let's get guns and I'm going to head over to the buffalo zone because that place is pretty cool. You know what? Guns are relatively easy to get in this. Let's just go like this. Right, throw that into there. Oh, and I accidentally brought these with me. That's fine. Right, off we go to the buffalo zone. I really like this place. It's a good way to get a lot of... Uh, what are they called? A lot of hide and meat. So there's the green buffalo zone, buffalo pasture, and we got the yellow one. Now, are there any events on the map at the moment? It doesn't look like it. So we haven't got the crash train at the moment. That's unfortunate. All right, let's go straight to the yellow buffalo pasture. Right, and okay, it's 34 minutes till I can open up one of the box. Yeah, I got a load of food and everything. I've got a load of stuff from the free crate now. Which is cool. I like it. I don't think I've actually been to this place on camera before, have I? I haven't been to this place at all on this account, actually. Here we go. Oh, this gun's terrible. <laughs> oh dear, buffaloes don't like me. Okay, I see. This is basically the zip gun of Westland. Oh, it's so bad! Ah. But look, each buffalo gives two of each, which is pretty awesome. Considering... Uh, well, they don't do much damage. I feel like the buffaloes need to be buffed to do more damage. Because, as it stands, they are a bit on the easy side to kill. It makes it not boring, so you're not constantly grinding to get food. But at the same time, it also makes it a little bit easier, especially sin considering you can do this with entirely melee weapons. I'm just choosing to use weapons because I'm lazy. There we go. Out. There we go, use one of my bandages. And that buffalo just didn't care about me. Oh dear. And let's loot this one as well. So this is ridiculous. And let's kill this one as well. Ah. Uh, right, so how much are we up to already? So we're already up to 24 meat. This oh, this would be perfect for feeding your dogs in last day, wouldn't it? <sighs> Keeping them nicely stocked on food. Right, so I would like to look around. For, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a little bit concerned about this gun breaking. See, it looks like the guns aren't that powerful. The melee weapons, some of them are really good. <laughs> oh, I feel so horrible. But they taste so nice. Oh, I didn't need to kill the coyote. I could have made it my friend. Oh, I'm a horrible person. Right, now, are there any more chests in this place? I swear there should be more. Well, look, holy crap, this zone is massive. Okay, didn't realize quite how big the zone was. Hey, coyote, you're my friend now. Good boy. See, I'm not sure if I actually had leveled up my spirit points high enough last video in order to get the coyotes tamed. Here we go. There we go. Let mine attack it. It did not very much, but still, it was useful. It did five damage. Okay, yeah, now I'm going to have to stop punching a buffalo to death. And my dog not actually doing anything. Okay, doggy. Okay. Right, just scare those buffaloes away. That's a wolf. I was hoping the wolf wouldn't chase me. Damn. And I don't think my coyote's helping out anymore. Actually, I think it might have died. That is entirely possible. Hmm. 
but I'm just going to try and avoid the big things that would like to eat me. Right. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much more loot here. But we got a good third of a level. But the main reason you're going to come here is just entirely to get the meat and the hide. So it's going to make making cloves a lot easier. Especially if you farm all the fiber whilst you're here as well. Is that a skull there? I think that might be an old skull. That's pretty cool. Right, now, is my coyote dead? No, it's just stuck inside of a buffalo. Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. Right, now, can I sneak up behind this one? What is this? Oh, it's another coyote. See, I can't friend, befriend another coyote because I've only got five points put into spirit. If I had ten points, then I think I'll be able to get two of them. Also, if you get 10 points, you can get a wolf, and if you have 20 points into it, you can get a bear. But at the moment, I've just been pumping everything into defense. Trying to up my health a little bit. Well, not up my health, but yeah, up the defense. Keep accidentally clicking the button to open that menu. I'm just going to hang around at night time to see if the big, mean boss lady shows up to scare me out of the zone. Because I want to see if I can capture her on camera. I've run into her so many times, but none of the times I've seen her have been recording. Which is a little bit annoying. And she always shows up at night. Although, to be fair, she can spawn at your base as well. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put a cut in here. I'll come back when I'm at my base. Or if the boss thing shows up. So I'll see you all in a sec. I'm back, people. Big mean boss lady's here. It's called Wendingo. Here we go. This is what I was talking about in the video the other day. Big scary thing that chases you away and instantly heals. I oh, you know what? I think I might actually have a torch in my inbox. Let's grab it. Torch. There we go. Equip it. There we go. Chases her off and stops her from healing. So I think what you have to do is you've got to whack out a torch and then you switch over, switch over to a gun or something and gun her down. But there you go. That was the Wendingo. And it looks like it's daytime again, but I think it's actually still nighttime, which is strange. Alright, apologies for it being a bit of a shorter episode, people, but I am still in the process of, I don't know, just general doing stuff at the flat and trying to sort out other viewings for buildings. And possibly going down to put a deposit on somewhere today. But got to wait and see, because we've put an offer in, and we've just got to wait and see if they accept it. So, thanks for watching, people. I know it's a bit shorter than usual. My apologies. But goodbye, and I'll see you next time. Next video, probably be last day on Earth. Bye.